Good morning, Reefers. I'm Daniel, and today it's to sock or not. Those of you who have been debating on if you should have socks in your tank or not, um, there's a good reason why people do have them. And they do collect food and detritus before it has a chance to break down and become nitrates and phosphates for your tank. So if you don't have a refugium, and there's so many different kinds of refugium that you can have in different macroalgaes, um, you can even use soft corals like these pulsing xena, they grow off phosphates. So there's different types of sumps and refugium and waste management systems you can have. But a sock definitely helps keep things clean. Um, tons and tons of detritus will build up in the bottom here. And if I had a sock, that may have not happened. So <clears throat> it's just over time, you know, I will vacuum that out. It's just, oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see all those feather dusters in the back there? And I have the shrimp that are in here that are just eating and cleaning up things. So this is pretty cool down here, but I would re recommend every couple months probably just going through and vacuuming out that, that detritus that builds up in there. Now I don't have a full balanced ecosystem in every tank, but I'm just trying to show you guys what can happen. Anywhere there's a still spot, um, detritus is gonna build up. I even tried putting a super propeller in the bottom here so the water would move real fast. And what happened was, it actually, the fast moving water killed all my sponges. Um, I guess it was too much and just, they couldn't handle it. Over here in the slower spot, you can't really see from here, but there's sponges growing in here. I designed this chamber in the side for sponges to be in, so. Yeah, it's a sock or not. So more question about that is, it's a personal preference and it's a maintenance issue. There's no right or wrong answer. So those of you who are, are debating, should you have a sock or should you remove it? And that's completely up to you. I only try to add them when I'm stirring up the sand or moving rocks around because I know it's gonna help me in the long run. You know, my phosphates won't spike and I just won't make a mess of my tank and it just keeps things cleaner in general. So when you're disturbing your tank, it's cool to have a sock, but if you don't have room for a sock or a sump, you don't need one. I'd rather see a refugium and then you just pull out that shado and throw it out, the uh, macroalgae, every once in a while. So it's a little bit easier to handle it's that way. Uh, socks can be expensive, um, they're a pain to wash, and they go fast. I mean, I know people who use three socks a week easy and you know that's a lot to keep up with so there you guys go for now um, I'll hit this topic again later I just kind of wanted to get it out there just because you know people have been asking about it but no you do not need socks um, but maintenance knowing your levels phosphates nitrates all the time I tell people are important um, you know because those really do affect the corals especially if they get too high they will really upset everyone so you want to make sure you look out for that. So as always guys, thanks for watching and happy reefing. Until next time.